nothing could have been more worthwhile uh, than the four years I've spent and my fellow volunteers have spent on the cabinet and otherwise raising money for LSU. Uh, when I was asked to do this, I knew nothing about it. I've learned a great deal, uh, but nothing could have been more important uh, than to help LSU. The future of this state, uh, the future of certainly the kids that are going here now and will come here in the future, nothing could have been more important. Let me give you just a little bit of background about where we are today, and I want to thank everybody here for being here today, is this is a major event uh, for LSU and its evolution. First, I'd like to point out that this was three campuses that all got together and worked together, and that's something that had never been done before. The Ag Center, the Law Center, and the flagship campus here of, of, of LSU. All three worked together. The three nonprofit organizations responsible for LSU all worked together. Tiger Athletic Foundation, LSU Alumni Association, and the LSU Foundation. That had never really happened before. And they're getting to where they work so well together, you can't tell them apart <laughs> between Ron and Charlie and Bill. You see one, you see the other two in spirit, if not really together. And that's really great because we're all pulling for one source or for one purpose, and that's LSU. The goal of this campaign was set as a stretch goal. Nobody thought we could meet it. It was set four and a half, five years ago uh, to be $750 million when the experts said you may be able to raise $500 million. Uh, Mark Emmert was responsible for, I think, in a long, uh, to a long way in starting this by coming up with a flagship agenda. And he'll be at our home later today, and we urge all of you here to come be there uh, with him to help celebrate this. That was a masterful stroke I've heard uh, uh, Chancellor Martin say. Nobody's sure what it means, but dadgum, it sounds important, and, we're, <laughs> and we're, we're getting there. We are now a flagship university. Then Sean O'Keefe came along and said, if you're going to be a flagship university, you've got to fund it, and let's go try to raise $750 million. And then Mike Martin came along and about halfway through this and said, let's finish it and let's win and let's get it done. And so here we are today. And we have followed that track of building a flagship university, uh, the flagship agenda, and we've raised the $750 million as the first installment in terms of doing that. Now, what we said we'd do, we said we'd raise the expectation of our students in Louisiana. We've raised the standards, and we've given them a university that complies with those raised standards in terms of national ranking. We said we'd help them graduate. LSU has now separated itself in the state with a 61% graduation rate and increasing. We set out to provide a national caliber education for our students so they wouldn't have to look outside the state. We've now been ranked top tier three years in a row. That's with private universities and public. We said the faculty would do its part and to helping the economy of Louisiana and to helping the graduate student body by bringing in more grants, 152 million last year, which is more than most of our peers. Uh, the amount of grant money LSU brings is more than the University of Nebraska. It's more than the University of Tennessee. A lot of people don't realize that. This university is now climbing up in the upper echelons of research and development, which brings great things to us in the future. And we said we'd grow the size of our endowment that's managed by the LSU Foundation and uh, the LSU Alumni Association has one as well. And that endowment is growing, not fast enough, not big enough to meet the trying times we're having right now in terms of loss of state funding, but it's growing and it's really the prescription for the future. And we said we were gonna make it a top tier university and we were gonna raise $750 million. What we did, as of the end of October, we've raised $753 million in private contributions. We've raised $34 million in state matching funds, which means if we hadn't raised the first part, we wouldn't have gotten the second part for endowed uh, uh, chairs and professorships. For as of the end of October, $787 million we have raised in this campaign, exceeding our goal and substantial. <laughs> I sent an email recently to Sean O'Keefe telling him that. I was saying, boy, you gave us a stretch goal, and then you left. You gave us a stretch goal, but I'm here to tell you, we stretched, and we did it. And what this campaign proves is, 
we can do it. We can take these kinds of things and make them happen, and we've just begun to scratch the surface. Of that 787 million, 54% came from individuals. Now, what was shocking to me and Rock and others today is that uh, 24,000 alumni gave money, and the average of about $800 a piece, but we had 26,000 friends of LSU who didn't graduate from LSU, may never have attended LSU, who gave gifts in the amount on the average of $700. And then we had the faculty and staff who kicked in as well, over 1,300 of them, retired and active, who gave gifts in the average of $400. And so basically 54% of this uh, 787 million, or the $753 million, came from individuals. 30% came from corporations, some 6,500 of them. But get this, the size was only $8,500. So I don't get the idea that uh, big companies came in and gave us all this money. And foundations, a growing thing that I know the Chancellor's looking at for the future, gave us 16% of this money, averaging $18,000. Now this is important. Where did the money go? What's it being used for? We've increased in this campaign, by the funds we've raised, the, the uh, endowed chairs at LSU, 38. 38 endowed chairs were created in this campaign. 393 endowed uh, professorships were created in this campaign. 794 endowed scholarships were created in this campaign. That's in addition to what we had. That's a real mark. That's really, that's really getting somewhere. Over 110 million of this money we raised go to student support. 215 million of the money raised goes into these endowed chairs, professorships, and improvement facilities. 48 million went uh, into discretionary funding for priority pro uh, pro uh, programs. And 366 million went into campus, uh, campus infrastructure, such things as a new College of Business building, uh, the Ban Hall, uh, the new uh, the chemi chemical engineering complex, and many others. But let's make one thing clear, what we have not done. This campaign did not set out to do, and it did not do, a relieving the state of Louisiana of support for LSU, or making up for the money we are losing from the state of Louisiana. When we go to a donor and ask for a contribution, the donor tells us what they want done with that money. By law, and we do it anyway, we honor that. Only 1% of this money came in unrestricted, meaning we could do anything with it we wish, the university could, only 1%. So 99% of this money went to the purpose the donor said. Now that 99% doesn't do anything to help you with your budget losses from the state of Louisiana. It just makes our chairs perform better, our professorships perform better, scholarships we need to attract and keep good students, and uh, the building of the buildings on campus and improving them that we otherwise wouldn't have been able to do. Does not help you with the annual budget at LSU. We need to make that clear. As today, when the word goes out, we've raised this money, there are gonna be some who rear back and say, oh my goodness, LSU doesn't need any more support from the state or less support from the state. That is not true, which we're trying to make very clear here today. Only 1% of that money could be used for something other than what the donor said. And in no case did the donor say, here, go use this money to take care of some of the money you've lost from the state of Louisiana. Uh, that just didn't happen and not going to happen. What's been the result of making LSU uh, the kind of universities I mentioned earlier, U.S. News will report now three years in a row, has ranked us top tier right along with the Harvards, Princetons, and Yales of the world. We're now in their class. 100 Best Values in Public Colleges in 2009-2010 by Kiplinger. Top 30 Public Universities in Total Research Grants. Top 30 is where LSU is now. The Robert S. Reich School of Landscape Architecture, number one in the country. The uh, E.J. Urso College of Business MBA program in the top 10, according to the Wall Street Journal. E.J. Urso College of Business ranked in the top 50 uh, internationally, business schools in the country. That's just a few of these awards. We know where we rank in baseball. We know where we rank in football. We need to get the message out where we rank in academics. Moving up and moving up strongly, and we think this Forever LSU campaign has certainly helped with that. Now, what did we learn in this campaign? The first thing we learned is we can do it. 
If we harness our volunteers and we harness our deans and all of our energies together, we can raise this kind of money. That's the first thing we've learned. There are only four income streams to LSU, I've learned. You've got tuition, that's regulated by the legislature. You know, only a, a limit as to what you can do with that. We have uh, state appropriations, that's going down as we see. It looks like Louisiana doesn't have the wherewithal to support 14 public universities at the level they should be. And we have grants coming into the university for research and development, very critical, that's going up. And we have private contributions, which in the course of this campaign, the second campaign we've ever run, is going up. So what did we learn? The moral of, of the story for the future of LSU is gonna have to be more R&D grants and more private contributions. That's where the growth and the revenue stream for this business of running this great university is gonna be, that source. And so to all of the alumni sitting here and who may get this word, the one thing we have to take away from this is we can do it, we have done it, and we're gonna to have to do it again in the future. Thank you very much. This campaign began four years ago to raise $750 million to fund the flagship agenda to make LSU a flagship university uh, throughout the country. And today we've announced that we've succeeded in that. We have raised that $750 million, as a matter of fact, more than that. What's your reaction uh, when you f found out that the goal had been reached? Well, certainly we're elated that we've reached that, and we're certainly very proud of it, that all of our volunteers have come through and all the people that support LSU and the alumni and did what they did. But one thing people have to understand, this money is not all in hand. A lot of it's promised gifts or planned gifts that we'll get in the future. And secondly, none of this money goes into the budget of LSU to relieve the loss of funds from the state. The donor has told us what to do with all but 99% of that money. And that, the, the, that, that purpose, that dedication they told us by law is what we have to use the money for. Professorships, building the business school, building the band hall, scholarships, things of that nature. So people have to understand, while we've been very successful in this campaign, it doesn't solve the problem of funding from the state of Louisiana at all. What was your reaction when you saw that the goal had been met? What does this say about to the support for LSU around the state? Well, the first thing it meant to me was relief that <laughs> on my watch we, we succeeded in doing it. But uh, what it told us was the fact we could raise money beyond what we thought we could and that people would come through and they would help and they do believe in this school. They know how important it is to Louisiana and how important it is to them. What is the uh, importance of future fundraising? Well, I think that what we've learned here recently is we're not going to be able to count on state funding like we have in the past. At state universities in general, and certainly here in Louisiana, a major part of the income to this university in the future is going to have to be private endowments and private gifts. And so this is something just a fact of life. So what we did in this campaign is simply proof that we're going to have to do this uh, time and time again.